Hello guys, welcome back to another Scratch tutorial on how to make an online multiplayer scrolling platformer game. So let's continue. And this is part 2 of the series. So this is what we have from part 1. Okay. Like that, we have a cool platform script. But there's a problem with it. Um, first thing first we can't like fall and the second one is the wall jumping doesn't work like and when you land back there it like goes down and then up so let's fix that and we'll make use of our trampoline coins and platforms okay so let's go to the player and let's just improve our code right here by adding a position block right here. Okay, so that's all you needed to do and that works so good. So now let's make the spinning saw, the trampoline and the coins. So from the platforms, you can just drag this to the creep there that and that and that like that okay like that we don't need to switch costumes we'll put the x there but the y not here okay so in here if you use my art down the description below things it makes me more easier to know like if you don't use my art then just position your player and then show the variables x and y so like i'll put it negative 185 and y negative 30 okay so let's take a look and oh i've got to show it first oh it's not there but get there and i forgot to put in the set x to x set y to y don't need the next costume let's test that now okay so you see it's like this right here so i'll put it in a negative 80 like that and it's right there but it's not in the back layer so when i receive tick we'll put in a go to back layer and then we'll add the spinning animation we'll turn right six degrees Okay, so we have our spinning saw and we don't want that there to happen. We want it like right here. Yes, we want it here. And then, okay, so we'll put in the 565 degree. And then we'll put in um negative 30 test that um where is it oh um little right like 580 and boom there we go we have our spinning saw right there in the position we want so and then in the x here we'll put in a negative nine 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 five nights that's all you need to do in the spinning saw so now let's drag this whole script to the trampolines okay and in the trampoline only need one trampoline i'll set this to 485 
y negative 33 if you're using my art we'll delete this and then we'll put in when I start as a clone we'll put in a forever loop if touching player we will broadcast bounce and then we will um wait we have two costumes here remember so you will switch costume to two and then i forgot to put in a switch costume to one there so like that and we'll wait 0 0.5 seconds we'll switch costume to one okay now in the player we'll put in right here when i receive bounce we'll set speed y to like 30 and we will y collision speed y speed y and then we want to make a use of the player dying in the spinning saw and the player falling so we'll make a new block named checking death on that screen fresh and put the checking death right between the y collision and the set scroll x define checking death if touching spinning saw we will set exit to die and then right below the position block if y is less than negative 180 we'll set exit to die okay let's test that so we can die through the spinning saws okay let me go to the bouncing boom we can bounce like that and we can die very good and we can fall too so now let's make the coins so um oh we need to copy the trampoline that 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 and oh we don't need that okay my position so we have the animation here so switch costume to one and for the coins we will put in more of these create clones okay you don't need the switch costume i think we need that i think yes okay so we need that and we'll duplicate it to five okay so if you use my art this will be simple put in a negative 60 666 y 91 for the first one negative 96 oh. y will be 180 and we'll put in 76 y 570 and then we'll put in a 670 y 270 another one 522 and negative one two three hope you got that this is for the ones that use my art okay and you'll make a variable named collected for all sprites and collected max for all sprites okay so when I receive green flag clicked, we'll set both to zero. Okay, and in the create clone at X, we'll put in a change collected max by one. 
And when I receive tick, we'll add the animation first. So switch costume to like floor of that floor of timer times 25 and then we will mod by 8 okay like this put it there so now we'll put in an if touching player then we will change collected by one and we will delete this clone okay let's test that select it there and you see we have the animation right on top there let me check this oh you can collect a coin and we get it so i want to make some sound effects that to do that we'll just put in in the coins we'll put we'll go to sounds and you'll realize if you use my art you'll get the sound coin so let's put that right there you'll start sound coin right in the if touching player and in the trampoline you'll realize there's the boing sound effect so in here we'll put in the start sound boing and yeah that's pretty much it so there you go we have the sound effect and let me go to the trampoline Ah, there you go that is so good so thank you very much for watching please leave a like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next part and the next part we will do the fun part where we will put in the multiplayer scripts peace